All right, once again, we're doing a fantastic quick capture. I hope that this comes out as smashingly beautiful as my last video did. And that's sarcasm. Most of you guys that come to this channel watch me over on my other channel. And if you don't, I'll put a link to the video that I'm talking about in the info box. Um, so you guys can go over and look at that. Because this video may not make any sense to you, or it could make perfect sense to you. You know, I don't know. I made this other gay pride video and I did it because I felt it was my time. It was time for me to make this video. For the last seven years I've struggled with the whole gay pride issue. You know, for the longest time I sat on the opposite side of the fence thinking, you know, why do we have gay pride? Um, it just makes us look bad on TV and, and people get the wrong idea and you know, it's it's the wrong way to get attention, you know, it's it's pushing ourselves, you know, in people's faces. And I used to feel that way about it. I really thought that it was the wrong way to go about things. So for the last, I would say, seven, eight months, I have done a lot of research, uh, looked up a lot of stuff about Stonewall, about some of the laws that have been changed, you know, over the last couple of years. And I realized that when it comes to other subjects, I'm able to think outside of the box. I'm able to say, okay, this is how I feel about it. And then I put myself in another place, you know, mentally. I put myself in another place and I go, okay, but can I look at it this way and, and see it from a different perspective or see it from another standpoint? But I just couldn't do that with gay pride. For some reason, I could not bring myself out of thinking, man, we look so bad on TV and it hurts us so much. And then just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this, this thing clicked in my head and I thought, wait a minute. What if I take the word pride out of the equation and I think of it as a movement? Because I think the word pride was what was confusing me. Because when you think of pride, you think of being proud of yourself, being proud of an accomplishment. And even though that ties in with what's going on, that's not really what it's all about. It's very misleading. Because what it really is, is it's more of a march or a movement, uh, a show of solidarity, as I said in my other video. It's, it's a way to break out of this oppressive behavior. Um, a lot of people in the other video have said it's wrong for me to compare the African-American civil rights movement to uh, gay prides or gay marches. And I don't think what they got was the comparison was I wasn't trying to compare the oppression that African-Americans have suffered to the oppression that gays have suffered, American or otherwise. I was comparing the fight for equal rights um, in the sense that we should all be allowed equal rights. That's the comparison. So, you know, when I'm probably going to attach this to that video to clear that up because a lot of people seem to be getting confused. I had to actually add annotations to remind people that there's a message at the end of this extremely short video. Um, another thing I'm getting is a lot of people are saying that the actions of the gay people that attend the events is what ruins it for everybody and that we can't get respect that way. And I can see that because I, I was in that place. I was there for the longest time thinking, how can we expect people to take us seriously when we do all this crazy stuff? We have these drag queens on the streets and we have these guys in leather and then we have these other people over there, you know, these flamboyant guys. And then I thought, wait a minute, that makes up the diversity of our community. It may not be what I agree with. It may not be the way I live my life. But those are people that are part of the gay community. And even though they don't represent me, they should be allowed the same equal rights as everyone else. Because even though what they're doing may be outrageous, you can't say in the heterosexual community that every single outrageous activity represents you. You can't say that every criminal activity represents you as a heterosexual person just because another heterosexual person commits a crime. So those people don't have to represent me. And it took me a long time to understand that. And I find it so odd to me that it took me so long to reach this place because I always thought I was such an open-minded person. But then when it came to my own community, I was so closed-minded. Now, I still believe that these people don't represent the community in a great way. Obviously, the media picks up these, these outrageous activities and throws them on TV because it makes for good television. Guys like myself, who are just there, signing papers, trying to get some laws passed. We're not, you know, we're not shocking enough. We're not doing anything to really be out there. 
And another comment that I that I received from someone else, and, and I'm sure the comments are just going to rack up, um, you know, on this video, you know, the negative ones at least, is that as as a group we should basically keep these people under control. And my response to that is these activities are held usually the majority of them that I've been to have been held in public places like public streets, public parks, things like that. And if someone is doing something that the that the police aren't stopping, there's nothing I can do about it. I challenge anyone to go up to somebody in a park where they're doing something, you know, that has nothing to do with you and tell them they can't do it. Especially people that have been drinking all day, people that have been out all night partying that may not be in the right frame of mind, go up to them and try and tell them what to do. And then come back to me and tell me how it went. I can guarantee it's not going to go very well. So as far as holding control over people, that's like trying to control someone down the street from you or controlling somebody across the country from you. It's not going to happen. That's not my job. My job is not to control other people in the community. My job is to represent myself and show what I have to offer. And as far as it comes down to respect, respecting them and respecting their actions, it's not even about that. Yes, I would love to have respect for our community. But the bottom line is we just want equal rights. And equal rights doesn't have anything to do with respect. Equal rights have to, has to do with just living in this country. And that's what it came down for me. That's when it clicked in my head. I'm like, wow, all this is just kind of flowing out now. I'm, I'm understanding it. It was like a barrier, like a waterfall flowing out of my mind. Another couple comments I got are from some other gay people who were, they were in that place that I was at where I couldn't see outside of that box. Um, a lot of people are coming out and saying things about it like, oh, I can't believe that you're, you know, these people with leather and, and you know, ball gags in their mouth and stuff that you think they should represent our community. And, um, you know, again, I had to start thinking outside of that. There's a lot of people here on YouTube, a lot of gay people here on YouTube that I think you know they do a lot more harm to the gay community than good but they make spectacles of themselves and that's the kind of stuff that gets attention I could sit here all day here on YouTube cut my camera on and, and give all these spiels about gay rights I could cut my camera on and try to to motivate people or whatever and I think that one good well thought out video will get more across than doing a bunch of videos. I think that showing up at at least one Pride event a year at, as, as a gay person and showing some sort of support for the community is going to help. I also think, and, and this video is running way long, like I said, it's in under 10 minutes under the tags. Um, I got two minutes left to, to get the rest of this out. One of the biggest problems the gay community suffers in, and I don't want to offend anybody that's still in the closet or isn't comfortable with being out because everyone has their own reasons, but I've said this before in, in several other videos, is people that aren't out, okay? And I know it's a personal choice, but, you know, they do all these polls and say, oh, 30% of the population is gay, 35% of the population is gay or whatever, and I don't trust these polls, but they exist, okay? And that's what people go by. If everyone that was gay just came out and said, I'm gay, I'm not going to live this fantasy life anymore, I'm not going to do this anymore, and just came out and supported these events as a gay person, the numbers would increase dramatically. And I can promise you that. I've done a lot of research about this stuff, okay? And I can promise you that the numbers would jump through the roof. But so many people feel oppressed. I also, and this is my last thing, I need to get this in in under a minute, a lot of people say, well, what about straight pride, straight pride month, and, and all this other stuff. The reason why there is gay pride month is because gays have been oppressed for so long. It's one of the last acceptable forms of prejudice in the world. That in order for gay people to justify, I mean, in order for straight people to justify having a straight pride month, you would have to prove to me that they have somehow been oppressed by homosexuals. And that is not the case. That is why gay pride exists. That is why the gay movement exists, is to make changes and allow equal rights for everyone. And the video, the ultimate purpose of my video, for those that are message impaired, okay, 30 seconds, is that everyone should be treated equally and everyone should stand up for what they believe in. And that was the purpose of my video, in a nutshell. And that's why it was so short, because if I would have done it this way, it would have been nine minutes and, you know, 52 seconds. I got to go. Keep it moving.